students welcome to shruti academy so let us start with another topic of electrical engineering which is the electrical special machines so there are various special machines in the electrical engineering to be studied such as the bldc the stepper motor the linear induction motor so here today we are to discuss about the linear induction motor okay so under the topic of linear induction motor we are going to study about what is linear induction motor the construction and its types the working the applications the performance that is the formulas involved in it how it is performed because uh, if we if we take the formulas then we it is easy to study about the performance and the advantages and disadvantages of the linear induction motor okay so the basic question is what is linear induction motor everybody knows the rotatory induction motor the motor which is self starting motor it is rotatory in nature everybody knows but what is linear induction motor so we can say linear induction motor is a advanced form of the rotatory induction motor where we get translatory motion where we get get rectilinear motion okay so such type of motors which give us translational tra translational motion translatory motion or we can say rectilinear motion are said to be linear induction motors okay so let us go to the history there are three uh, three personalities who devoted their life towards the linear induction motor okay so the first uh, is the great sir charles wheatstone in the era of february 1802 to october 1875 he was there he studied he was continuously uh, working on the linear induction motor then came the herman kemper he was in the era of april 1892 to july 1977 also he is known as the pioneer in magnetic levitation okay so he was a german engineer he was also very much keen about learning the linear induction motor and also he also developed a simple model but it was not so much clear at that time okay then came in the late 1940s it was a british uh, electrical engineer he was a professor of imperial college london he was eric lathewaite he was the one to first develop the working full size model of the linear induction motor until then till today from then till today we are learning about the linear induction motor because of him because he developed the full size linear induction motor he practically demonstrated it and it was very well understood by all the engineers okay so this was all about the history that how it came how the all the scientists were involved in all okay so it is very much important to learn because rotatory induction uh, induction motor gives us the rotational uh, motion it is it gives us rotational motion although it is a self starting motor but it gives us rotational motion but the linear induction motor is different it is different in the aspect because it gives translational motion it is not giving us the rotational motion so now let us come to the construction and the types of the linear induction motor okay so construct Uh, uh, constructionally, constructionally, uh, the uh, rotatory induction motor has two parts. In fact, every motor has two parts: the stator and the rotor. But here, the stator and rotor are referred to as primary and secondary, respectively. Okay, so the stator will be referring it to be primary, and the rotor is being referred to here as secondary. Okay, it is referred to as secondary over here. So I'll be drawing the rotatory induction motor then i will be telling you how the linear induction motor is being drawn okay so let us start drawing the rotatory induction motor first okay so this is the stator the stator frame this on the stator also there are conductors so let us say these are the conductors placed over here
okay then inside is the rotor so rotor is also having the slots rotor is also having the conductors okay and rotor is also having the core we have already seen the constructional features of the three phase induction motor when we were studying about the induction motor okay so this is our stator and this is a rotor okay this is a rotor so rotor is having aluminum conductors with ferromagnetic core okay with ferromagnetic core so if i cut this this is rotatory rotatory induction motor okay so if i cut let us say these are the points two points along ab if i cut from here along ab if i cut along here make a cut along here and stretch it and stretch it then then i'll be getting the linear induction motor so let us draw the figure for the linear induction motor also so these are the this is the secondary and this is the primary when this is stretched stretched out then we get a motor like this if we cut from here and stretch it then we get a motor like this so this is the linear induction motor in which the rotor part is said to be the secondary and the stator part is said to be the primary now we used to give the supply to the stator we used to give the supply to the stator let us say this ryb the supply was given over here to the stator and it was uh, uh, done three phase winding was done so similarly the primary will be given the supply so similarly the primary will be given the supply okay so these are the uh, constructional way how it looks so we can easily say that the stator is uh, straight it is having the slots it is having the laminations but it is straight all together straight okay as well as the rotor rotor is having the aluminum conductors rotor is also having the slots but now the rotor is also the straight and rotor is having the aluminum conductors with the ferromagnetic core with the ferromagnetic core so rotor is also having the aluminum conductor it can be any metal conductor aluminum or copper so basically we take copper or aluminum and aluminum is the most general conductor which is being taken okay so conductor aluminum conduct conductor with ferromagnetic core with ferromagnetic core okay so now let us start with the types of linear induction motor let us start with the types of linear induction motor
So on the basis of structure, there are two types, the double sided linear induction motor and the single sided linear induction motor on the basis of structure. So let us write down on basis of structure. We are having two types. One is the single sided linear induction motor which is known as SLIM and the other is the double sided linear induction motor which is known as DLIM. Okay, So this shown over here is the single sided linear induction motor because the secondary is on, on only one side of the secondary is the primary situated primary is being placed over here okay so such type of induction motor linear induction motor is known as C, uh, single sided it is known as single sided s l i m so let us draw the structure of the double sided okay so the double sided will be having a secondary and on both the sides on both the sides of the secondary will be the primary. Primary will be located on both the sides of the secondary. Okay. So that type of structure is known as double sided, double sided linear induction motor. That type of motor is known as double sided linear induction motor. Okay. So it is D L I M over here. So this is our secondary, and these are our primary. Okay, and we can give the three phase connections to the primary in such type of motors. Now second way of classifying the linear induction motor is on the basis of core, on the basis of core. On basis of core, how? The first is the iron core. iron core LIM okay the second is the ironless ironless LIM and the third type is the slotless slot SLOT slotless LIM. So it depends upon how the core is being arranged. So core and winding how they are arranged. So if there is an iron core present and the winding is there, coils are wound around the teeth, then there, it is known as iron core linear induction motor. Iron less linear induction motor is another different type. There the structure is different and slotless slotless is yet another type of linear induction motor where the the, uh, the slots are uh, joined together they are not having any slots in between that all the conductors are joined together and they, it is known as slotless so so the structure is different uh, th this we will be understanding by viewing the actual structure how the linear induction motor in that case looks like so that we can study in, in the next lecture, in the next video. So this was all for today. We have learned about uh, the introduction part. What is linear induction motor? Also, we have seen the constructional part of the linear induction motor. How it is constructed? The actual rotatory induction motor is altogether round. When we give a cut to it and when we st uh, straighten it, flatten it. So the stator of the linear induction motor is flat, having laminations, but it is flat okay generally having lamination and also they are having the transfer slots yes this thing is to be importantly noted the stators having the transfer slots okay so it is different from the it is different from the 
rotatory induction motor. So please, please be stay tuned because in the next video we are going to study about the working of the linear induction motor and then we will be moving ahead with the performance and the advantages and disadvantages of the linear induction motor. So thank you, so please subscribe my channel, please share my videos and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.